Hi everyone, I want to share a website with you guys which have increased my editing speed 10x faster. Yeah, you know right, it's Riverside. So how Riverside can be beneficial for you guys? Whether you're looking for auto captions with 100% accuracy, which most of the softwares can't do it. Or the client gives you a raw footage of 10 minutes which include dead space, so don't waste your time by doing it manually. Instead, use AI magic clips to remove in less than one minute. So the next feature is text-based editor, which helps you to edit fast by browsing a transcript of a recording and delete segment, just removing the text and you can even search a recording by clicking on text. Thanks to text-based editor. So here's another feature of Riverside AI from where you can get a high quality stock images. Just simply click on this image and it will apply it over here and you can make a custom also like i will create winning boy so you can see just simply click on this and it will apply it over there and you can search any images you want just simply type the text and it will generate the image use my code mui visuals to get 15 percent discount on riverside subscription you can find the link in the description okay so now we will drag a background and we will scale it up and we will search for motion tile and we will increase its width to 300 and output height will be 300 and we will check this minor edge and now we will type a text and we will scale it down and we will make this layer 3d and we will create a new camera and then create a null object and we will link this camera to the null and now we will also make this background 3d and we will select the text and we will decrease the size and now we will search a text animation which is slide up yes this one slide up by words we will select this animation now we will press u and we will adjust the keyframes and now we will play the video and now we will select this keyframe and press f9 and we will play again and now we will make some camera movement press p make a keyframe and we will make this keyframe backward and now we will zoom out like this now we will make a keyframe on rotation and we will tilt the camera to the right yes like this and now we select the keyframe and press f9 and we'll change the graph and now we'll play the video again we will add our next background and we will make it 3d and we will scale it up And now we'll make a keyframe on opacity. Uh, it goes from 0 to 100. Like this. Okay, so now we will type our text. We will align it to center. And then we will make this layer 3D and we will scale it up and we will change its rotation. Now we will drag this text out of the camera. And now we will uh, drag our camera back. You can see the text is appearing over here. So we will zoom out as much as we can 
and we will add a motion tile on this background we will copy the motion tile and we will paste on this background and we will adjust the keyframe and we will select this graph we will uh, change its rotation and we will make some opacity which will goes from 0 to 100 and easy is them and now we will press ctrl d to make a duplicate and we will delete this keyframe and we will select this null object and drag it over here and now we will link uh, this new null with our previous null object and we will change its rotation and now we will add our next background and now we will add a motion tile and we will make this layer 3d and press control home and now we will scale it up and we will make some opacity which will goes from 0 to 100 select this keyframe press f9 and we will adjust it and now we'll play a video and now we'll press u on this layer and we will adjust the graphs until it's look good yep i think it's look good we will type a text we will align it to center and we will scale it down and now we will make this layer 3d and again press ctrl home and we will scale it up adjust the position and change the rotation and we will scale it little bit down and now we will add an animation on the text for that i am using this animation composer and we will choose this overhead overhead text animation perfect and we will just adjust the text animation like this let's play it's too slow again it's too slow I think this is perfect we will uh, scale it up like zoom in and we will change a rotation little bit I think it's perfect we will now we will make a line from the pen tool perfect now we will uh, open the properties of shape contents shapes and we will select the stroke and you can see this taper and we will adjust the length so you can see this uh, at the edge it's looking very smooth 
and now we will add some deep glow on this we will search for deep glow and copy my settings perfect now we'll deep glow on the text also and search for drop shadow and now we will add an animation on this line for that I'm using trim path and open the properties of trim path and make a keyframe on end and go at the starting the starting will be zero and we will select this keyframe press f9 and you can see our line is animating so it's give a aesthetic look and now we will just adjust this line i think it's perfect now we will play um, i think the line should be starting up here from from at this point so we will start this line animation from there now we'll add an animated instagram mp4 and i will give a link in the description for that we will change its color by adding fill and i think red is good and now we will add a deep glow perfect and we will scale it up and make it layer 3d and now we will drag this icon out of the camera scale it down and again place under the text and now we will adjust this instagram logo and we will change its rotation and now i will change its opacity to 50 maybe <clears throat> 55 50 and now we want to start this instagram animation at this point when it says a reality check so we will adjust this and now we will play it again <clears throat> 